dust. Our memories of him will never die. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as tree minders. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. So if I kill him, I get bark skin. 5% additional damage resistance. That's not bad. But, let's see. Let's, I'm not fucking stopping his spreading. Let's accelerate his growth. Cool. Oh yeah, uh, I increased the damage, so uh, let's keep going. Let's put the sword right there. That game is actually pretty damn fun. Hey, fucker, come here. My god, I hate my look, Hunter. Hey, crippled his torso. Nah, he's dead. <laughs> I'm lo I do like Harold. It's a good nod to the original two uh, Fallout games. Hey. You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of centuries. Sure, I guess. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. How you doing? So, it looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? Well, you become an important part of their lives. Without you, they're lost. So, they really need me that badly, huh? Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. Awfully selfish of me. Should we give them another chance? Herbert, yeah! <laughs> fine, fine, I mean Bob. I still think it's funny when I call him Herbert. <laughs> I have to go now. Now don't get crazy on me and start wearing branches. Oh, don't don't worry. I ain't gonna do that. So I want to see what the rewards are, and if the rewards are good, I'll keep them that way or in. What is it, Outsider? What will you do now? Although his influence will spread through the wasteland one day, that day is still a long way off. For now, we'll remain ever vigilant and watch the wasteland for anything that could threaten this sanctuary. Okay. Good. Who is it? You that I need to talk to? Ah, uh, it's nice to have the pleasure. I've never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps it will serve you better than it served me. Seriously? May the sap. Hold up. Seriously? 
mean, he's got some good buffs, but seriously, <laughs> God damn it. that sucks. Okay, all right, uh, kill him. It is. And take the bark skin. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. So sorry. Uh, he shot something at me. Ah, uh, fucking hit by me. Mind me of Dark Soul. Which, you know, I played in. Oh, I played this game up. I played in beating Dark Souls 1. Almost beating Dark Souls 2. I need to get back into Dark Souls 3. Ugh. The Great One is dead. Slain by your hand. Mm-hmm. You'll have and Uh welcome back to the wasteland, asshole. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. What will you do now? Even though the great Okay. Goodbye, Harold. At least he closed his eye. Jesus. Alright, well. Bring it out. Bring the weapon out. Uh. There we go. Now it's fully repaired. I need to go back to the mothership, you know. To see if I can get more alien epoxy. What do you want? What will you do now? I'll do what I do best. I'll make sure Oasis never falls, even if it means my own death. Okay. It's over. All over. Yes, outsider. What do you do now? Whatever the tree father or leaf mother would have me do, I'm still theirs to obey. Okay. Man, you got one hell of side boob, but. Hell, I don't care. I'm just porting that out there. Well, just throwing that out there. Fucking Jesus. Hey. It makes me feel safer knowing you're around. Yeah, I think you're pretty swell for someone from out there. And and you were really nice to me too. I was gonna give this to my bestest friend Harold. But he doesn't have pockets, the silly head. This is a charm that my parents gave me for my fifth birthday. It's really neat. Take it. What will you do now? Now that Harold's gone, I lost my bestest friend. All I want to do is cry. Ooh. I'm sorry. Goodbye, I What is it now? I'll mourn him with every ounce of my being. This has been a tremendous loss to the world. If anything, this place will become a memorial to him, lest we may forget. Goodbye. May you... God damn. You saw that, right? Is it down here? No, it's not. I got plus 10 in my, uh, thingy. Come on. There you go. And bear charm. Actually, pretty damn cool. Get to my speech. That's holy hell. Yay! But that was awesome. Fuck! I keep missing it. Oh well. Hey, man. What is it you need, outside? What will you do now? I'll remain here and help in any way that I can. I owe them my life, and I intend to repay that debt until my last breath. Got it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so how much time is left? Ten minutes. I've been doing this thing for an hour. <laughs> I've been doing this for 50 minutes. Oh my god. 
That's horrifying. No. Move it. There you go. Ten Penny Tower. Just go to Ten Penny Tower. Possibly kill ghouls if I want to, but I probably won't because these fuckers hate them. But, you know. Oh, hey. What is my, uh. Ah, I am the Wasteland Savior. Great. That's awesome. I could always play Fallout 4 again because holy hell, I play that game. <laughs> I love that game. Holy hell, I play that game. But, if I do play the Fallout 4, I want to play on survival, and I never do that. I played survival on Skyrim, and it's so much easier on Skyrim. You tell Ted Penny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not me, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine, I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. All right, well. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. Is that how you treat all your desks? Uh, guests? Desks. What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. I'm here to see Tenpenny. <laughs> That's rich. What would a man like Tenpenny want to do with a waste rat like you? I have lucrative offer for him. Let me in or you'll regret it. Just a minute. Let's not be hasty. If Ten Penny is interested in what you have to say, I suppose you should get your chance. Though he normally conducts all his business through Mr. Burke. If Ten Penny doesn't want to talk to you, then you best leave him alone. Mr. Burke's dead. If you dead. bother Mr. Ten Penny or any of his residents, I'll be very glad to forcibly show you out. Do we understand each other? What are you looking at? Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. Don't do anything stupid. Motherfucker. What? How's a ghost situation coming along? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. He and his kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and a band of misfits. Or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. What the hell is a ghoul anyway? Some kind of disease? You serious? You don't know what a ghoul is? Just trying to exhaust your dialogue. A goddamn disaster waiting to happen. That's what they are. Sure, maybe you can get over the fact that they look like someone took a cheese grater to their face. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But it's what you don't see that's the problem. The radiation slowly eats away their brain. Then they go zombie on you. It's better for everyone to kill them before all that, if you ask me. Hmm. I'm going to find a non-violent solution to your ghoul problem. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try to talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. 
Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. Yay. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Do I have a quest? Uh, no. Let's go. I'm a. Uh, depending on how much time I got left, I got five minutes. Where's Roy? Can you go over here and walk back? Probably ran back. Through the train yard, huh? Okay, here goes. Oh, yeah, I got that weapon. So. <laughs> oh, here's a metro station. Cool, Cavern Aid. So. Warrington, Wa uh, Warrington Station. Lovely. Uh, there, there is quite a few games I haven't finished. Just to name two of them. Uh, well, actually three. Adult Souls 3, Doom Eternal, and fucking The Surge. Man, I tell you. I want to finish Doom Eternal, but I just keep fucking forgetting. Or it's either I keep forgetting or don't have the motivation to actually do it. I want to complete it and then uninstall it because I don't have the season pass. I won't have. Hang on, let me rephrase that. I don't have the year one pass, so I won't get the uh, the campaign add on uh, DLC, which I don't know when they're gonna add that to the game, and I won't play the DLC only because that. I won't play the DLC only because uh. Mike Gordon isn't uh, the composer anymore. He was a damn good guy, but besides I keep cheating him out of something. <laughs> I don't know. Wasn't really paying attention. All I know is that he quit because of issues at Bethesda. Or some shit. Ah, uh, look. Crimson Bow. Useless. So. And back to Gurren. Okay. What did I get? Ooh, concentrate fire. That's nice. Computer whiz. I didn't get pre locked down. Uh, gym whiz. Uh, no, I don't like doing that. Action boy? Ooh, uh, nah. Contract killer. I mean, I could go all the way up here and get uh, intense training again. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's get. What is a good one? Let's get charisma. It's all about the talking. Quick save. Okay, that's fine. It's a minute and a half. This laser scatter rifle is actually pretty damn good. Fuck. I got one in uh my new character that I made for Fallout 76. I can do the uh do the uh the the wastelander completely fresh. But the one I got has in Fallout 4, the scatter rifle was ass because of the accuracy. But in Fallout 76, god damn. 
gonna cripple your fucking leg. But in 76, the accuracy is like a pistol. Hey, look, that, that. They, uh, I ran out of time. But I'll kill this last one and we'll end it. So, my name is Michael Lacker. This has been Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, and I want to see every single one of you little monkeys out there in your next video. Bye bye.